Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here tonight to do a video on the market. What an amazing call I made today in the market. It, it actually was just a crazy call. The only people that heard the call <laughs> were the people that were in the room with me this morning and my broker, because I talked to her like five minutes before the open. And <laughs> this is what I said. I said, the market is gonna 100% retrace the red bar from yesterday and rally and power trend all day. That's exactly what I said today to the room. And that's exactly what the market did. It was, it was such a crazy call that I don't think anyone believed me. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. It took a little bit to get going, but it, we set the low of the day at 10 o'clock and we actually broke the low. So we broke the low, set the low of the day at 10 o'clock and we did exactly what I thought. So the high of the day was 193.26. We just, we just ran out of day here. So basically we are going to gap up. Boy, that, that was just, that was, I mean, I make a lot of good calls. I do. But the people that hear me talk in the morning before the open, that, that, that is the best of me. That is the best of me. And the people, the only people that get that are the people in the room with me. The, the best of me is the stuff I see in the pre-market. That, that is the best of me. It is just so raw and it is 99.99% .99 right. It might even be a hundred percent right. Whatever I say before the open, it like turns out to be true. It's like, I just blurted it out this morning. I just saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I was going to do it. And even then when we broke the low, I still thought it would do it. And it did it. It's like, and, and I'm telling you right now, we're going to gap up tomorrow. So we're going to gap up big tomorrow. So let's just look at tomorrow. Well, it depends where we gap up. Well, it really depends on where we gap up. Okay. I think we gap up big tomorrow though. Pfft. Into the open. So we could, we could gap up here, 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 here. I mean, I have no idea. So it depends the target. The target's 200. So depending on where we gap, it's going to depend if we get to the target of 200. But all along I've been saying the market's higher and it is. And it's just, to, that was a crazy call I made today. I, I, I can't wait to hear what everybody says in the room tomorrow morning. A couple of people already emailed me and I said you could go long the market today. And, and I really don't say that about things necessarily. We did gap up today, so it was a gap up to go long, but we broke the low. <laughs> we broke the low and we still, we still did it. So what I'm trying to say is that you've got to learn how to read all of this stuff. It's not just about looking at the pivots, because if you looked at the pivots of the market, you would think that the market's lower. It's not. I did a video last night. I said it wasn't. And you know what the funny thing was? I said this to my broker this, this afternoon after she called me. She's like, oh, my Lanta, Melissa, because she saw then that what I said this morning turned out to be true. And I said, you know what? When I went to bed last night, I thought to myself, today is going to have a lot to do with the market meaning Thursday, because we didn't fall off during the gap up here Wednesday, and I thought we would. And when I went to bed last night, I looked at that bar, and I did the video, and I thought, you know what? There actually was some institutional selling in that bar yesterday. And I thought, T tomorrow, this was last night, I thought it's going to tell me a lot about what's going to happen. And then, and then and look what we did today. So it was like totally unplanned, and, and, and I just saw it when I made the call, but I have this ability to be able to like look at something and just see it. It's like, I'll look at a gap and it's because of the gaps, but it's like, I'll read the gap and I'll look at the gap and I'll see boom, exactly where it's going to go. And actually I can just look at charts and see where they're going to go. <laughs> but it's because I know how to treat gaps. Gaps tell you so much about price action. Pivots don't. Otherwise we'd all just buy every pivot and buy every higher high and higher low and lower low and lower high and we short them. We, it's, it's not the right way to trade. Okay. Otherwise, trading would be so challenging for people. I'm telling you, there's everything and then some in gaps, but not every one. You can't short every gap down. You can't buy every gap up. You can't do every gap fill. It doesn't work like that. This method that I figured out how to read institutional buying and selling in charts and gaps is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. It is the reason I can make a crazy, crazy call like I made today. And the crazy call that I'm making that the market's going to make a new high this year, which it will. And... I also said in the video yesterday, we're only eight days into the year. Don't be surprised if we retrace more than 55% of the drop off we've had 
in eight days in two. I'm telling you, we gap up tomorrow. I think we could gap up a lot. I don't know, but we're gonna gap up. We're gonna rally tomorrow. We're gonna close the week. We could even close the week with a gain in the week from the start of the week. Anything's possible. Why? Power money is very, very powerful. Or they, or I wouldn't call it power money. And whenever it wants to step in, it will just rip through everybody and then some. Everybody complains and says, oh, da 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 da, they drove it down, they wrote it out. No, I always said the market was higher. I never said it wasn't. So, you know, I'm not surprised. When we rip on through every single number here, I won't be the least bit surprised. I'm expecting that to happen. So, for those of you that are short the market, I have no idea why. Power money is going to come in buying, and then it's going to stop out all the shorts. And then more buying is going to come in, and then more shorts are going to get stopped out, and then more buying is going to come in, and the late buyers are going to come in, and the market's going to make a new high over 215. And it's going to be amazing. And we'll see how we trade tomorrow to determine exactly where we close tomorrow to determine exactly what I think is going to happen. So very interesting. Just phenomenal call I made today. Phenomenal. I almost just want to... It's like I was speechless, except for I'm doing the video, but I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I, I just don't even know what to say anymore. I have this incredible ability to be able to predict, predict, like actually accurately predict what something's going to do. Now, the timing of that is challenging, but for day trading, you don't need to worry that much about it. For options, you have to be concerned about timing. For swing trading, you don't need to be concerned about it at all. But it's, it's like I see into the chart. Like, I, I already see it. Like, I've been talking about this anyways. Like, I already see it there. And I saw it this morning. Like, I saw that we would do this before it did it. And I'm seeing already other things here, which is I talked about in the stock market class. Like, I, I see it's like already happened in my mind. Like, I see it playing out. It's just incredible. And it's all because I spent eight years eight years of my life doing nothing but trading gaps and reading charts that's a long time it's a long time when you're as methodical of a thinker as me so just phenomenal gap up tomorrow i wouldn't be surprised if it's a biggie either have a great night everyone if you're interested in the golden gap class the next class is january 23rd and 24th email me at melissa at the for more information